Hey everyone, Bob here again. I would like to do a continuing lesson for uh, for my previous lesson, which is called using formatting and functions. And I have included applying conditional formats, the first lesson, and the second one is using formulas in conditional formats. I have utilized the same worksheets I have used previously in my previous lesson. So, Excel allows you to create conditional formats that apply only to cells that meet a specified condition or conditions. For example, a conditional format can apply formatting only to sales figures less than a specified amount or cost totals greater than a specified amount. Conditional formats can be based either on the value in a cell or an, on a formula. So. Let's just create both types for Bob store purchase report, the conditional formats and for formulas in conditional formats. Bob store have allotted a, a limit of forty thousand dollars for your twenty twenty two orders from Bob store. Let's add a function to the purchase list that sums total order expenditure, and then apply conditional formatting so the resulting number will display in red. If it exceeds 40,000 because that's the limits that we have set. Okay. You can start by adding the sum function to sell. Okay. You just click sell. It's 11 here. Okay. Then click the sum button. This is the sum button. It's actually automatic under the editing group. Okay. Excel has correctly assumed that you want to sum the values in the column of data above the selected chair, which is under the total cost column. So enter the formula by entering the button here, the, the check, enter, just click it. Okay. It displays 39,532.5. Okay. Then next, we're going to access the uh, Conditional formatting menu. So just click the conditional formatting button, this one, under the styles group. So Excel offers Excel offers several conditional formatting options. And just take a moment to review the options in the conditional formatting menu. This one we got highlight uh, sales rules. And then under that, we have greater than, less than, between, equal to, etc. Then top bottom rules, we get uh, several uh, categories under that also. Data bars, color, icon sets, then new rules. The new rules is the rule that we're going to add for our uh, conditional formatting, like uh, with the formulas in conditional format. Clear rules is we're going to. Uh, remove the uh, existing rules and manage rules is the, the one that we're gonna manage rather editing it if we want to edit the existing rules okay so now we set a conditional format so select highlights and then uh, we're gonna use the greater than rule okay so the greater than dialog box allows you to specify a constant value or formula and color scheme for your format. The condition for this format is that the value be greater than 40,000, which I have said earlier. So let's type the 40,000. So that's the limit that we have set for our cost purchases. Okay, there's a uh, uh, color scheme here which says red, light red fill with dark red text. So we're gonna use that one. Okay, and then click OK button. Okay. So, so now you need to specify the formatting elements that will apply when the condition is met. You can specify the color scheme for the cells, which I have already specified the, 
the the value which is forty thousand the limit that we have already I have already mentioned and the highlight color will remain uh, as I have uh, put it still the light red fill with dark red text okay so the problem here is it does not uh, display the color scheme because our limit is 40,000 this is less than 40,000 39,000 so to test the conditional formatting you must increase the value of purchases so the total is greater than 40,000 so the values in the cost columns are determined by a formula so you can increase total cost by adding units of any item like for example here unit cost two units units two okay rather okay so let's add 10 units to the existing 10 units to make it 20. Okay. okay that's the good thing about the uh formatting the this one in format cells in numbers because this is considered a number if you see the formula bar here it says 10 it doesn't say units just 10 okay so if you are going to press F2, I will also show you in the formula bar or in the cells. It shows 10 only. Okay. So why? Because it is uh, formatted as numbers. So if it is not formatted as numbers, let's say, for example, uh, here below here, we'll put 10 units. Like that one, and then a uh, rather 20 units, and then another one, 10 units. I'm just giving you an example. So if you're going to add this one, see some, okay. Oh, doesn't accept. Why? Because this is not formatted in numbers. This is this is uh, as good as text you know so if if the if this text the, the it is uh left justified but if this formatted as number it is right justified because numbers are always right justified automatic see here this one uh product code it is text format so it's left justified okay and numbers are right justified like this one units okay so i hope you understand that and delete that one all right so what we're gonna do is uh i'm gonna i'm gonna add 10 to the 10 to make it 20. so you just type 20. Okay, see units is still there, doesn't disappear. And you see it's already more than 40,000. We set the limit as 40,000, so it's, it has exceeded the 40,000. So it's, that's why it's showing the red uh, scheme, color scheme, okay? Okay. Okay, now I, I think you understand this one, this rule. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be uh, using formulas in conditional formats, okay? So formats can be created that are con conditional upon a formula instead of the value of cell data. Uh, let's create a conditional format that contains a formula, okay? Bob store offers a let's say 10% discount for purchases made in the first quarter of the business year and then uh what uh Bob store take advantage of this discount by estimating their annual sales of Bob store products and purchasing 90% of that amount during the first quarter so price le price level 1 on the Bob store product purchase report represents the discounted price per unit and let's use conditional formatting to distinguish orders 
that fail to take advantage of this discount. We can start by selecting the first cell in the total cost column. This one, H3, okay? And access the conditional formatting dialog box. So we're gonna click H3 right here. And then click the conditional formatting back to this one. Okay, uh, which is under the the uh, styles group. Now we're gonna click the rule. Okay, new rule. This one. Okay. Okay, uh, you're following me. And then click use a formula to determine which cells to format. Okay. This one, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Okay. And then, okay. So in the text box, you want to enter a formula that will be true if early order cost, which is the value in the cost one cell, is less than 90% of total cost. So that would be equal sign. D3, okay. So where uh, our uh, equation would be the uh, cost one, which is D3, is greater as less, less than rather, less than H3. What is H3? Yes, that's the first uh, cell of the total cost. All right. Then multiply, you type the asterisk. Multiply what? Our criteria is 90%, right? Less than 90% of total cost. So multiply by 90%. So just multiply by 0 0.9. So that would be 90%. Now that the condition has been defined, let's add formatting that will apply to cells that meet the condition. Like to add formatting access, the font tab in the format cells dialog box, this one format. That would be the color scheming scheme, all right? So we're gonna specify the red color. This one, click that one, the red color. So, so that will be that will apply if the cells meet the condition. The what what was the condition that we have uh, specified? It was uh, cost one D three cells less than H three, which is the total cost, the first cell of the total cost, multiplied by ninety percent. Okay, that would be our condition, right? Okay, then uh, just click okay button, all right. Okay, all right. So, so cost D3 is less than the total cost. So multiply by 90%. So, so the, the conditional formatting says it's okay because it's less than 90%. Okay, that is our criteria. Okay, then we'll apply another one. Another one, uh, let's go back to conditional formatting. And then we go to new rule or second rule. What is our second rule? You use formula to determine which cells to format again. Then our second rule is um, G3. Okay, we're, we're gonna get the cost to column this time, right? So equal sign again, equal sign, then G3. Okay, that would be our cost two, okay, G3. Okay, uh, so second condition will apply green text this time, huh? green, 
before we use uh, red. Okay. Uh, green text formatting. If the cost to value is 10% or less of the total cost for the item. So you can now accept the conditional formatting and view the results for, for this one. Just, it's, uh, just type G3. Okay. Less than what? Or equal to uh, H3. So that would be our condition, right? And what else? multiply by 10%. 0 0.1. Okay. Then Remember the formatting, the color scheming, just click the format here and then click green. We, we will need green here. Click OK. And then click OK again. Okay. So that would be our, uh, uh, we get two new rules. Okay. If we open the conditional formatting again, the manage rules, we see we have two rules here. Okay, and two conditions, uh, formula conditions, right? If you want to edit, you can edit or you can add new rule and you can also delete. You just select which one you want to delete, then click delete rule, okay? So let's see which one are, because we, we only put uh, conditional formatting on the first cells protocols, so we'll just, Copy the condition down. Okay. So there you have it. You have uh, red one for the first three, and then green, then another three, red one, and then green. So that would be our indication in terms of our, uh, in terms of our uh, discount, 10%. Okay. So all values for which early orders were less than 90% of annual sales are now formatted in red. This type of formatting enables Bob Store to plan future purchases and spot current trends, okay? To, to just to, to delete conditional formatting, just go to the conditional formatting rules, rules manager, no? Dialog box from the, uh, from the conditional formatting button on the ribbon. Okay, this one, easy. Then you can delete. Whatever, whichever the one you want to delete, just delete it. Okay, so that's that's it for, for today's lesson. Uh, under the using formatting and functions, again, uh, I have included two, which is applying conditional formats and using formulas in conditional formats. So that's it for today's lesson. If you like this uh, lesson, this video, then please uh, like it, upvote, and subscribe. Okay, and share if you want. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you will be notified of all upcoming uploads. Thank you for watching.